The PDOIS leader, Halifa Salah, has debunked claims that political parties are involved in constitutional talks to bring back the rejected draft constitutions, which failed to reach its third reading in Parliament. President Adam Abaro hosted Nigeria's Iswal president, Goodluck Jenetan, who is mediating the dispute over a constitutional review process. But specifically this time around, I came to work with the international idea at the instance of the president and stakeholders. It's not the president bringing us, but the president consulted with other stakeholders and uh, asked us to come and have a conversation and the political process uh, going on. Normally, I've been the president before, and any country, when you are looking to your constitution, somehow when I was in office in 2014, I also set up a national dialogue to look into certain areas to reshape the country. So every country do that from time to time. And the Gambia is unique. We know the kind of uh, setting you had before when my good friend was here. So this is a major transition and it has to be managed in a way that uh, younger people like you who are coming up will uh, be in position to manage the country better. So it's a very good thing that the stakeholders are doing. And so we are just coming to offer some technical assistance in one little way or the other. Uh, there's, uh, but incidentally, the president is out of uh, Banjo this year because of his uh, state tour. So we come to do that court sequel before we go and have uh, meetings with uh, the key actors and the key stakeholders. After Justice Minister Dauda Jalo told an African Human Rights Commission summit that Dialogues to get the defeated draft constitution back to the National Assembly has commenced. Saleh said, only the members of the National Assembly and the Speaker of the National Assembly can save the constitution that the CRC was taxed to draft. Any other attempt at constitutional building could only be done by plagiarizing the work of the CRC, followed by the publication and introduction of a new bill to alter the 1997 constitution, whose outcome is pregnant with uncertainty and could suffer another abortion with an endless blame game. History is calling on the lawmakers to assume their historic responsibility and leave a legacy worth remembering. This is how matters stands. Sala, the MP of Serekunda Central, made a motion at the National Assembly to reintroduce the rejected draft constitution, but his bid failed. President Goodluck Jenetan was later invited to Banjul to help find consensus on the draft constitution ahead of its planned return to the National Assembly. Mr. Salas' PDOIS party did not attend the supposed mediation talks between political party representatives and the government, which were chaired by Mr. Jonathan. Salah and his PDOIS party believe that only the National Assembly has full mandate to exercise discretionary power to allow a motion to rescind the decision of the National Assembly to abort the constitution building process by not supporting the second reading with a three-quarter majority.